bedtime stories by mm. Kelly Dunn. No. You don't want to tell me a bedtime story? Once upon a time, it was the end. What? What sort of moral learning am I supposed to get from that? I don't tell stories. <laughs> You're not going to tell our kids any stories? I will read them stories. Uh, you don't want to make something up? Not really. There was a dragon, and Do he was lonely. You can tell them stories. And you can be in he charge wanted of a friend, so but nobody wanted to be his friend because he always breathed fire and scared off all the other animals. So the dragon went looking for a friend. Are you interested in the story now? I don't know. You don't know. Depends on where you go. Where I go with it? He went up to the fox and he sneezed and the fox got singed. That's why his tail is black at the tip and his ears are black at the tips. See. And he went up to the raccoon and sneezed in his face. Sneezed again. He's allergies. <laughs> He's allergic to the furry friends. <laughs> And that's why the raccoon's eyes are black. <laughs> I think he can still see. <laughs> he closed his eyes, luckily. <laughs> what about the rings on his tail? Hmm. Yeah, series of sneezes. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. I know. Ah, uh, you know. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you said at the beginning you were making up a story. <laughs> We'll see where this goes. Well, we'll have to come up with an end for it sometime. I don't think dragons have any friends, so I don't know how this is going to end. Ah, I don't think dragons get only friends. Only other dragons. Sometimes humans. That's sad. And only if they what let if the finds, humans ride them. What if he finds a princess? In gold. A princess is his friend. No, princesses don't like dragons. No? Mm -mm. Hmm. Pretty sure. How about a dwarf? I don't know. I don't know any stories with dwarves and dragons. The Hobbit. I don't remember what happens in that. I see. They sneak into the dragon's lair and steal something and then run away. Yep. Okay. We'll figure out a good ending and get back to you on that one. We? Oui. Or our kids will hear it at bedtime sometime. Well, that's not a made up story. Ah. It's just like reading them a story. You have to come up with something new for them. Every time. Yeah. You don't think they're going to have favorites? Tell us the one about the dragon. I don't know. Hmm. Well, obviously, we need to work on our making up stories skills. That's what books are for. <sighs> you want our kids to be boring. You don't think reading it encourages their imagination? I don't know. Just throwing ideas out there. Okay, well, say something story-ish. Mm, too cliche. Um, yep, books are good for the soul. Yep. See, don't you want our kids to have good souls? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Make sure to eat the thesaurus, too. Don't just stick with eat fiction. It? Make what? sure you eat your nonfiction. When's the last time you so read you can, nonfiction? So you can grow tall. I think nonfiction. I tried to. <laughs> I read nonfiction at work. Come on. At work? Yeah, like documentation and junk. <laughs> Those 
not books. No. It's not the Book of Mormon. That's nonfiction. Right? Sure. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye.